What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Um, I am currently filming another video, but I'm also on a day hike as well. And you're suspended in the tree precariously, so I can't touch any of the pine bough things. So, in today's video, I am going to go over what is in my day pack, my setup that I have, the things that I'm trying, why I have them. So it's probably gonna be a lengthy video, but I'm getting away from just doing, you know, solely backpacking. Um, I feel like I don't do just backpacking. I'm in the a realm of doing whatever I feel like in the outdoors. So what I have on me today, right here, is like my typical day hiking setup. Well, maybe, except for a few things. But anyways, I'm gonna bring you to the ground here and we're gonna go over what's in my pack and what I have, why I have it. And uh, that way you guys can just see, yeah, you see and get some ideas. Because I have some opinions and some strong feelings towards some of this stuff. So it'd be good to get it out. So let's get down on the ground and we'll uh, start taking out all my gear. Okay, so sorry for the wind. Yeah, the wind just suddenly picked up a bit and I forgot my microphone. So I'm hoping that this will do good enough for the time being. So um, today I've been out for two hours and I'll probably be out for another two or three um, and then head back. So I'll just start on what's on my person here. Um, and I'll include some clips of my hike so you can kind of see the whole get up. So the first thing on my chest is my FHF Bino harness. Um, and that has my Vortex Oh, I can't even remember what these are. It's been a while. Oh, the crossfires. Yeah. Um, I use these just when scouting, shed hunting. I've been looking a little bit here and there for sheds. This isn't like a great spot to do it, but you can just look. So I have those. And the nice thing is they're loose right now, but I can tether them to my bino harness right here with these tabs. So they'll, they can, I can bring them up, drop them, and they'll stay. Um, sometimes with the configuration with it tied to my pack, this becomes just another step that you then have to unbuckle, but there's those. Um, in the, there's a little pouch right here that you can see. Um, in this pouch, I just carry a lens cleaning cloth for my camera, my glasses, my binoculars, whatever I have at the time. I carry a Sunto compass. I don't remember which one this is, um, but I've used this quite a bit just to practice uh, mapping and, you know, uh, orienteering type of stuff. And I think, yeah, so that's everything in that pocket. That's just like quick access stuff, stuff I always want on me. Because this vinyl harness stays with me if, for example, I take my pack off. So in here is the FHF general purpose pouch, I think is what they call it. Um, I'm not going to pull it all out because it would get kind of messy. I have duct tape, a lighter, I have my elk call, uh, my cow call, I have some cordage, an emergency blanket, I have I think 10 rounds of 10 millimeter ammunition for my firearm, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, I have a Sharpie for writing things down, purification tablets, some bandages, some tape. Uh, oh, fire starter matches. So just some general survival stuff. Like I said, this will always stay with me, so it's always good to have, you know, survival things with you. Um, I have my fishing, uh, I think these are called forceps. Thing. Yeah, I don't know the medical term, but have those, and those are just on the lanyard. 
so that they always stay with me. Um, right here, I carry an extra round of 10 millimeter ammunition. Um, this is a 16 round, uh, no, 15 round, excuse me, 15 round clip. This has the bear shot here, so it's hard cast, um, heavy load. I can't remember the load in it, um, but it's 10 millimeter. So this is my bear gun, outdoor gun, protection gun, whatever you want to call it. So that just stays there. Um, oh, then I just have my Garmin inReach. It's tethered to my pack as well. So that's the vinyl harness. And then right here you can see this pouch. It's tied to like the strap that comes across. That's just got my tackle box. So it just stays there and I can put my phone in here. I can put all sorts of stuff, but that's what's on the vinyl harness right here. Um, so now I'll take this off and get it out of the way. So you can see, this is why I like this um, because this whole pack comes off and I'm free and no other company that I've found anyways, there could be somebody out there, makes a, like a chest rig that attaches to your backpack. So it's got this strap here, it's got another one there. So it basically attaches to your bag instead of on your shoulders, which got rid of a lot of like the weird pressure hot spots. So that's why I like this. Um, oh, let me, there's also a pouch here on the back. In here, I have my fishing license. Um, I have some uh, paracord. And then I also have, this is radio frequencies that are programmed into my uh, radio. And then I'm adding to it just more frequencies for my general area, as well as um, just notes in case of a survival situation, I have reference to those. So that is officially that pack right there. And that goes anywhere with me. Truck camping, hiking, backpacking, four-wheeling. That is always with me. Um, so my next thing while I'm thinking about it, because I want to take it off, because it's kind of hot. Um, this is just on my belt here. You can just see just clipped onto the belt. But this is my firearm. This is a Glock 20 Gen 4 with the Olight PL uh, Pro on it. Um, yes, I do know how I handle a firearm, so don't get all uptight on me here. Um, I do, I'm trying out right now with one of these like replacement blocks and an RMR. Uh, this is the Trijicon RMR CC. It's a little smaller than I'd like, but I got it for a super good price. So I picked it up, but I think I may have to go to a bigger one with a bigger uh, glass field. Um, just because if I do need it, I am afraid that I'll be searching for the dot. Um, but I really like a red dot. I carry it on my concealed carry. Um, but yeah, this has one round or another magazine in it so that comes with me everywhere I go this is new I'm testing out this is a vetter holster just made for this setup here um, and then I what I did is I extended the belt clip to drop it down and get it away from my like backpacking hip belt this hip belt etc um, and then I just made a leg strap. This was some webbing I had in a buckle just to keep it um, aligned and not flopping around. And it is actually working out tremendously well. Um, you guys may have seen my other like thigh rig that I had. It was good. The problem was is the weight was so far down on your leg that as you're walking, you started to feel it and it just wanted to flop and roll around. And I couldn't find another one that was better 
for one reason. That one carried the magazine in the holster and um, just the quick and easiness of it. I could just clip it on the three clips and then I'm good to go. Um, so I'm kind of moving to this, possibly gonna put a magazine holder somehow right here. I don't know, but I'm testing this out right now. So that stays on my person at all times. I carry a firearm for a couple reasons. I've had some run-ins with um, wild animals, multiple different species, uh, moose, wolves, bears. Um, so I feel the need to carry it and nobody's gonna convince me otherwise. And um, it is a survival tool. Could I hunt with this? Yeah, yeah I could. Is it the best? No, but it's better than nothing. Plus it's a good signal device. So I always have that on me and uh, comes with me everywhere. Okay, um, I just carry a pocket knife. This is just a CRVI off of Amazon. They're really popular and they have an incredible edge and they're just super easy. To open I carry this with me every day all the time so that comes with me right here I made my own ranger beads just out of some quarter 20 nuts some paracord I'm learning how to use these better and I think they'll come in handy and I didn't have to spend a tremendous amount of money for them so this item is something that not everyone is going to carry and I don't blame them, but this is something that I have found value in carrying. So here on my uh, shoulder strap adjuster, I have a radio. So in that pouch is obviously this radio here and that pouch just stays. It sits way low out of the way. I don't even notice that this is here. So this is a Baofeng UV5R8W. So it's the eight watt. Um, and I don't wanna hear in the comments, well, do you got your hand license, blah, 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 all this stuff. And I don't have to explain to everyone, you know, all my credentials, I'll do all this stuff. I carry this. When I'm snowmobiling, the whole crew that I ride with, everyone carries at least one of these or there's another manufacturer that makes something similar. That way we can always talk. These have saved us multiple times from some scary situations snowmobiling that one day it clicked to me, why don't I carry this backpacking? Now I'm solo here. What good is that gonna do? Great question, Phyllis. Here's the thing, in my truck, I have another radio that I use as a backup. It is just sitting in my, uh, behind my seat um, in a pouch ready to go. All they have to do is turn it on, look on the back, and you can see here, emergency channel GMRS1. Um, so I just selected that channel based on what I can find right now there's a lot of other channels that I could use, but as a general rule of thumb, GMRS communicates with a lot more radios than a, uh, like a ham radio. So I chose a GMRS channel because the BCA radios for snowmobiling communicate on GMRS. Um, you know, that there's all sorts of different reasons. More people are gonna have a GMRS radio than probably a ham radio. So but I do have some ham radio frequencies pr programmed in here. I have a long antenna. This works far better than the regular. And I have an external mic. So if, you know, crap hits the fan, I can't communicate. Uh, my wife knows where my truck's at. She can send search and rescue there. She can come there herself, get the radio out, turn it on, and at least try and start communicating with me if something were to go bad. Now the other side to that is, let's say, if I was camping, base camping somewhere and hiking out, I carry these and that way I can communicate. I can go pretty far with these. 
Um, it's actually been stunning what I've been able to do with this radio uh, snowmobiling and how far I can communicate. And so I just decided to throw it on my rig. So far, so good. I haven't really noticed it. Um, I'm just carrying it for practice right now, but it's definitely something that I'm going to probably do more often than not. Um, just for the simple fact that, like I said, communication is key. Um, that's why I have my inReach Mini, etc. So enough with that. I may make a further video just, just for that. Okay, so on the hip pockets here, quick and dirty. Um, lighter, I always gotta have a lighter. Hand sanitizer. I brought a small speaker uh, to listen to some music, so this is just the charger. I don't bring that all the time, so that's not even that important. Um, okay. This is the small speaker. Um, yeah. Just a dongle for my mic, which I didn't bring, so good thing I have it. And this, Kuyu, and this uh, pack here, I'll take it off. Um, let me pan you down here. This is the Kuyu Venture 1800. And I love this pack. This has been a game changer for me as far as day hiking and, you know, just all sorts of stuff. I love, love, love Kuyu gear in general, but also this pack. It is so comfortable. It feels a lot like my Osprey Atmos bags. And so that's why I love it so much. So let's get more into this. So over here on one side, you can see I just got a paracord bracelet. Uh, I threw it on one time and keep forgetting to take it off, but I think it's going to stay there. Uh, I have a black diamond carabiner, non-locking, um, fully load rated, so good to go. That stays there. On this side um, of the bag here, I have um, a fixed blade knife. I think everyone should carry a fixed blade knife, uh, especially day hiking. This is just a Mora Companion. Oh, I can't remember which one it was, like the steel. Um, but I've like stained the blade, kept it pretty sharp. So that stays with me all the time. Pretty sound for lunch. This is about 10 to 12 feet of 8 millimeter climbing rope. I carry this for any number of reasons, hanging the hammock, uh, anything. It's not a lot of length, but it's good enough to do some real damage and it's heavy duty stuff. So that stays in that pocket there. Um, Another thing about the Kuyu Venture is these straps here. You can see they go, they can climb up and down this webbing just by like slipping it out, um, which I think is ingenious. A great um, add-on and just creates a lot of versatility. So you can strap a lot of different things and it's always gonna be secure. Um, and it also works, you know, from here to here. So you can strap stuff here. It's got stuff on the bottom. Okay. So you can see my radio pouch here. It just slides up and down on the tether thing, whatever you want to call it. I have my fly rod here, my casting reel there. Uh, those are obviously just for the day trips. So yeah, those are good going to stay there uh, okay next in like the brain area this brain section is huge so a lot of quick access things uh, my toiletry kit 
I think this is the Black Diamond Storm. I think I bought this like four years ago. I think it's the Storm, I'm pretty sure. Great, great light. Um, I keep it in this pack all the time. So it's one of my backups. Let's see here. So it's got like an inner pocket here. It's got a key holder. I'm not using that right now. Um, then in that pocket, I have another lighter. And I always carry some cash uh, just in case. I don't know. It doesn't really take up that much weight anyways. So there's that. Everything fits in here really well. Oops. So next, this uh, this section here, it kind of fillets open, which I really like. So I keep in here like quick access, need it now, things I'm gonna get to all the time. So when you open it up, it's basically all my food. So I've got some beef jerky. Uh, pistachios, Cliff Bar, uh, granola, or not granola, trail mix, cosmic brownie, because <laughs> if you don't have a cosmic brownie while you're a backpack, you're nuts. Always have one. Uh, my spore, my spoon, excuse me. Got my fly reel, a Nutella pack. These are hydrating packets my wife got. Haven't tried them, might try it, I don't know. Cooling rag or just like a rag. Bug repellent. I have smaller ones, I just threw this one in because it was, yeah. my saw um this is like the ultralight saw i have the link to this in my i'll put a link up here that way you guys can see what it is it's a great saw especially for this stuff you don't not a lot of weight it's really small and compact okay that's everything in that so some of you may be wondering um why i have so much food um, one of my theories is if I get lost out here for who knows how long, hopefully not long because I have my GPS, um, but I would have enough food to ration me for two to three days and be okay. So that's why I have a lot of food here. I'm not going to eat all that this trip, but in case something happens, I have some extra food. So now let's get into the main part of the pack. This is like the trip essential stuff, stuff I may not use, I may use the big bulky items. So this pack, it like really just fillets open for the most part. So you can get a lot of stuff in and out of here and you can see just how like wide open it is, so I can access a lot of things from this. This is just another holster I'm gonna test out. I don't know, yeah, I may test this out, I may show you, but who knows. My hammock stuff, my lunch. You guys have to eat these, these are the best. So this is gonna be lunch today. My pot for lunch. This is the Kuyu Peloton 240 jacket. It's like a fleece light jacket. I love this thing. It is so amazing. And uh, I don't go anywhere without it. So it is just the right amount of warmth to provide you, you know, any trip. It's a great, great addition. I love the, uh, I think it, this is the Verde. Don't quote me on that. 
I am with bad, bad memory, so that always comes with me. This is the Kuyu Chugat um, light rain jacket. Um, once again, love this thing. It's got pit zips, um, vents, super light, but really uh, weather resistant. So I love this thing. Uh, I haven't been able to use it a lot, fortunately, I guess, but it's a great item. I just carry the standalone shoulder strap rig for my bino harness in case I don't want to take my pack. Plus to keep the gear kind of all in one place. So if I know the bino harness is here, I know everything with it is also there. This is a Camelback three liter water bladder in here. Um, yeah, I just, when I'm day hiking, I prefer a bladder than bottles. It's just easier. Um, well, backpacking, I don't like it because it takes up so much space on the inside. It could leak and then you're, it's a bad day. So inside here, you can see that there's mesh pockets on like the lid, the clam, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so this is gear that stays in this pack 100% of the time. No questions asked. So even if I just grab this bag and threw it like a jacket in there, I could go on a day hike and be okay. Um, I carry a tourniquet because, yeah, if you're bleeding out or somebody's bleeding out fast in the backcountry, that could be very bad. I carry just an adventure medical kit. I've added some things, but it's like, for the most part, almost the same. Uh, so if you just buy this one, it'll basically be what I have. I've added duct tape and some other cloth tape stuff. So it's really basically the same though. Water purification. So I have two, so I have a liter. I don't remember what these Sawyer bags are, but it's about a liter um, water storage capacity plus the Sawyer uh, Mini here. So that stays here all the time. Uh, I have a Soul Escape bivy. Um, like I said, if I get trapped out here, this is gonna be super nice to have and build a fire, I can stay warm. I have a tarp. Um, create shelter, get out of the sun, what have you. This is just a Walmart tarp. You can buy these, they're five by seven. I had one that I used still for like five years, like as a ground cloth, and it is still waterproof and it's still holding on strong. The eyelets I don't really use much because it's a ground cloth, but I mean, it's like ten dollars, so you might as well. This is like more survival and stuff. I have a Leatherman here. You can see right there. Uh, handkerchief, matches, uh, fire blower, safety mirror, flint and steel, fire tablets, more fire uh, like sprinkles, like the like, flake stuff, a spare flashlight. I don't even know if it works, honestly. Probably should test that. Uh, fishing line, water purification tablets. So I'm like double covered on water. And last but not least, more survival stuff. But this is like more, that's like uh, small tools and items. This is a lot of like the bigger stuff. So I have some zip ties couple hanks of paracord um, this stuff here if you guys haven't found this stuff this stuff is incredible this is called bull line b-u-l-l -L. Um, or yeah bull line or mule tape there's a lot of different names for it but this is three-eighths of an inch wide it's basically webbing 
it's used a lot in the electrical industry to pull wire through conduits and do stuff like that. It has, depending on the size that you get, this has a tensile strength of like 12 to 2,000 pounds, like I said, depending on what you get. And it is cheap. It is very cheap. You can buy a thousand foot roll of this on Amazon. I'll maybe link down below for like 60 bucks. I've done shelters with this. I've pulled some gnarly crap at work with this stuff and it's held up. So whenever I got remnants or we were gonna throw it away because parts of it were damaged, I just snagged some lengths of it. So this stuff is insanely useful. Um, and it's just really nice to handle. I really like this stuff. And the paracord. I have some bug repellent in case I forget mine. Gorilla tape because this stuff will peel your scalp off. So why not have it in an emergency? And then I have more ammunition here. So I'm like double covered on ammunition. So maybe a little eccentric, but so that's basically everything in my pack. Um, another aspect of being prepared that I see all too often, you know, coming out here in the back country is a couple things. First of all, nobody has a lot of stuff to help them if they have a terrible situation to them. Uh, sometimes I just see people walking in with a water bottle. What are you doing? No, I'm sorry, I'm gonna be bold here. Don't come into the outdoors if you're just gonna take a water bottle. That's stupid, especially up here. I'm sitting at like 9,000, 9,500 feet in elevation gain. These mountains are relentless. Now, I mean, I'm speaking from my experience in my location. People that go out with just a water bottle nothing else i've seen it don't say it doesn't happen because i've seen it more often than not those are the people that end up on the news that shouldn't be on the news and then unfortunate things happen and then people have to risk their lives to come out and find them now i'm not saying that accidents don't happen but it's the accidents that happen when lack of care or thought is put into your situation. So first of all, like I said, you need to be prepared. Take the gear you need and tough it out. Um, if you can't carry the gear you need without complaining or saying it's too heavy, I don't wanna carry that, I'd suggest not going out. It's just the way it is because it could save your life. Why wouldn't you? Uh, the next thing that I would say is when people are packing their packs, what I try and do is think about what am I gonna need first if something goes wrong? So first I'm gonna need my water is gonna be needed. So I have that. Food, it's on the outside. I can easily get to it. Um, medical, okay, let's say I have a medical situation. Well, I can't really ideally carry that on the outside of my pack where I could get to that instantly. So I carry that on the top pocket. So all I have to do is open this halfway, rip out my medical kit and I'm good to go. Same with my firearm. My firearm's on my side. You know, I have all this stuff prepared and uh, ready to go. So just think about what you're doing when you're going in the outdoors. It really helps create a better experience and lets the people you're going out with feel at ease, feel, make you feel at ease, and really helps um, just create a better experience overall. And it's not that hard. If you do camping, if you do backpacking, you have the gear you need. You just need to pack it. So, um, yeah, I think that's everything. Um, I have a very strong opinion about this because I've been there. I've not been prepared. I've done multiple studies on search and rescue statistics on different cases here in my state, just my state alone, and then uh, hearing about some others 
you know, in other states and areas where if they would have been prepared, the outcome could have been way different. So I'm doing this to help the community because somebody shared knowledge with me, so I'm trying to give back. And quite frankly, I love it. I love being prepared. I love going out. And somebody say, oh man, I wish I had some bug repellent. I wish I had a band-aid. I wish I had some rope to tie my backpack together. Here you go, got it. And uh, it's a great feeling, quite honestly. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, any questions, feel free to put them down below. Um, I'm gonna try and do more stuff like this, but I'm also gonna kind of change up my YouTube style just a bit. So. We'll see what happens. But if you guys want to see the day hike that I did in this area and uh, kind of how this whole rig looks on me, you know, as I'm walking, uh, watch. It's going to be right here. Somewhere right there. So go ahead and watch that. But I'm going to cook lunch, so I got to switch. We'll catch you guys in the next video.